Kibo Guys. What up, guys? This is Kibo Guys. Back here again with another video. Today, we're going to be focused on a graphics comparison video for Man Eater. This game was just optimized for next generation Xbox Series X and S. You can now play the game at 60 frames per second on Xbox Series X compared to it running at only 30 frames per second on current generation consoles. Now in these graphic comparison videos, I'm going to be comparing it to the best version of current generation, which was the Xbox One X. And again, we're comparing that to next generation Xbox Series X. Now I've had a chance to play a lot of these games that are optimized for Xbox Series X. And I gotta say, Man Eater has one of the most noticeable differences in graphics and in gameplay. Now that it runs at 60 frames per second, it is much smoother. Not only that, but this this is one of the few Xbox Series X games that supports ray tracing. You're going to find that as I slide through Xbox Series X footage and Xbox One X footage, you are going to notice a big difference in graphics and lighting, especially because of that ray tracing. I also want to point out that I spent time to record this in 4K, so if your TV supports it, make sure you go to the YouTube settings and switch it to 4K, so that way you guys can experience this full-on graphics comparison at full resolution. Next, I plan on uploading the first 15 minutes of this game playing on the next generation Xbox Series X, so keep an eye out for that. Also, if you want to see more graphics comparison videos, make sure to leave a request down in the comments below. I plan on uploading a few more, that way you guys can see, you know, the upgrade and the difference between current gen and next generation games. Now, personally, I recorded my footage for the Xbox One X version first, and then I moved on to the next generation Xbox Series X. And I gotta say, even without comparing the videos side by side, I noticed the difference. Just by playing it, I could tell that the graphics were better, I could tell that the lighting was way better, and also that the movement and gameplay was better, just because we're doubling the frame rate, the amount of frames that play per second. Now, personally, I don't mind 30 frames per second, however, if it's available, I definitely prefer 60 frames per second, just because, again, we're doubling up the speed of the game. And that makes a big difference, especially when this game launched with a ton of frame rate drops on the current gen version. A lot of people had issues with the frame rate running on Xbox One and Xbox One X. So I've noticed that playing the next generation version, I did not deal with any of that. One thing I noticed while swimming above the water is that the game has a greater draw distance when playing on the next generation. Just meaning that you can see things farther in the distance compared to the current gen version. Not only that, but the environment is just so much more saturated when you're playing on the next generation. The colors pop way more. I don't know if it's just because the HDR on the next generation or what but on the Xbox Series X version, you're definitely going to notice and appreciate the smaller details. Now, on top of all of these awesome upgrades in the next generation version, it has smart delivery, meaning that this is a free upgrade. If you own the current gen version of Man Eater, you will be able to play the optimized Series X or S version for absolutely free. That is a ton of value for $39.99. Not only that, but you have some developers and publishers that are charging for the next generation upgrades. For example, Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, Overcooked All You Can Eat, or Warhammer Chaos Bane Slayer Edition. All of these games were current generation games, but they charge you for the next generation version. Man Eater, on the other hand, supports smart delivery, meaning that you get the current and next generation version for the same price. I feel like the biggest difference here is definitely the ray tracing. Now, I want to point out that in this video, we're not comparing to the Xbox Series S nor any of the other current generation consoles. We're comparing the best current generation Xbox, the Xbox One X, to the best version of the next generation console for Xbox, the Xbox Series X. Now, I want to point out that you're not going to notice a huge difference in the cutscene quality. You do notice a little bit of a difference, but not a huge difference, just because I think that these cutscenes were pre-rendered. I think the only cutscenes that you're going to notice a huge difference in these games are cutscenes that are actually running in the in-game engine versus a pre-rendered cutscene. But still, you're definitely going to find that the colors pop a lot more on the Xbox Series X version. Now, this is the second level in the game. I'm not going to go too far into this one. I just wanted to show you guys the difference in the graphics in the swamp when you're swimming above the water. You're going to notice a huge difference in the quality of the swamp. The colors pop a lot more and you're going to have a way greater draw distance. 
Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this 4K graphics comparison. If you guys want more, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, I'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my Patreon subscribers. We just hit 18 patrons. I'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club, including Tim G84, AOJ, The Gaspless, Purple Rain 6, Blackbird, and NL The Dude. As always, I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.